My name is Sean Faree, and I'm the Vice President of Product Development at Nanostring Technologies. I'm here to tell you about a new product that we've developed called the Breast Cancer 360 Panel. One of the greatest challenges for breast cancer researchers today is determining the right therapy for the right patient at the right time, the so-called promise of personalized medicine. Decoding the underlying heterogeneity of breast cancer is a challenge for breast cancer researchers today. Molecular biomarkers have proven to be an incredibly useful tool for selecting the appropriate therapy for breast cancer patients. However, there are many patients that have not benefited from this targeted approach to therapy, and many patients that are still over-treated because they have a low risk of disease recurrence. Recent clinical trials have shown that combining targeted therapies and immunotherapies together uh, holds significant promise for improving outcomes of breast cancer patients. It has been recognized that in addition to understanding the tumor biology, we need to understand the biology of the, both the microenvironment and the immune system in order to select the right therapy for the right patient at the right time. This chart summarizes an approach for addressing this challenge, which is aimed at providing an organized, in-depth view of the biological information that underlies breast cancer that can be measured and integrated into one single test to further explore effective drug selection from a mechanistic point of view. Nanostring has developed the Breast Cancer 360 panel, which includes a number of different RNA expression signatures that describe the biology of breast cancer. Not just the breast cancer, though, the immune system and the microenvironment as well. The goal of this panel is to facilitate the decoding of the complex biology underlying each patient's tumor so we can select the right therapy for each patient individually. The first signature I'd like to discuss is PAM50, which can be used to identify the intrinsic subtype of a breast tumor. The intrinsic subtypes were first described in the year 2000 using thousands of genes on DNA microarrays and later simplified to a 50 gene signature, the PAM50. The PAM50, which is commercialized by Nanostring as the ProSigna Prognostic Gene Signature Assay, measures a gene expression profile that allows for the classification of breast cancer into four molecular subtypes, luminal A, luminal B, HER2 enriched, and basal-like. Each subtype is associated with specific underlying biological mechanisms that in conjunction with the host immune response are unique and require novel approaches to develop effective treatments. With the PAM50 as an organizing framework, we can begin to explore additional biology, such as the Claudin Lowe subtype of breast cancer. Claudin Lowe tumors are characterized by low levels of luminal differentiation markers and high levels of epithelial to mesenchymal transition markers. Also of recent interest is the dissection of the heterogeneity present in triple negative breast cancer, which has additional subtype categories that consider androgen-driven luminal biology and the activation of the immune response. In addition to subtyping breast cancer along different biological axes, you can see here that there are other signatures that can express unique biological features that further distinguish between and within molecular subtypes. The additional signatures I'd like to highlight here capture features of tumor differentiation, a p53 mutation signature, homologous recombination deficiency, and an estrogen receptor pathway signature. All of these are critical functions in breast cancer disease progression. Each of these subtypes not only gives rise to a subset of unique biological features, they also have potentially distinct therapy response phenotypes. Different categories of therapies are associated with each of the molecular subtypes based upon their mechanism of action, making understanding the detailed biology of the specific subtypes an essential first step. The combination of immune-targeted therapies requires yet another axis of biology to be explored, understanding the immune system activation and responsiveness. Here we look to the tumor inflammation signature, a pan-tumor type gene expression signature recently described in the literature as a tool to measure the presence of a pre-existing adaptive immune response. We know that, although necessary, the presence of an adaptive immune response is not always sufficient for breast cancer patient response to PD-1 or PD-L1 blockade, since additional mechanisms of peripheral immune suppression might exist. The BC360 panel allows for us to characterize not only the presence of an immune response, but also the potential mechanism of immune suppression that may be targeted by novel therapies. Nanostring has developed the Breast Cancer 360 panel to enable this important research. The panel includes 770 different genes that allow us to explore the biology of breast cancer and allows us to measure the breast cancer molecular subtypes, cross subtype signatures, and the immune response to fully understand the unique and complex biological heterogeneity in a single sample. 
The panel, together with an analysis service and an analytical tool that allows researchers to visualize the data and process the data with all of these complex signatures, allows you to both collect and translate the relevant results into personalized therapies for breast cancer patients. I'm extremely excited about the Breast Cancer 360 panel. I'd like to invite you to follow these links for more information on these products. We thank you for your interest in NanoStream.